Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. I am trying something brand new, something I've never tried before. This is called Metal Cast by Elechem. It is a water-based metallic coating for your molds. Let's go. <laughs> Elechem sent this over to me to try out. As I said, it's a metallic coating. It's basically a two-part compound, powder and liquid, that you mix together at a ratio of three to one. So there's really clear instructions on the back of the tub, but it's three-part powder to one-part liquid. And then once we have it all measured up, we basically brush it into our silicone molds to create a, a layer, if you like. So here I am, I'm just mixing 30 grams powder to 10 grams liquid for pure ease of the video and easy maths. <laughs> <laughs> easy maths three to one I thought okay 30 to 10 that's just easy so here it is fully mixed up it doesn't take long to mix up but you want to make sure it is thoroughly mixed before you start brushing it into your mold now believe it or not this is not a lot this was only 40 grams a really small amount but it was way too much for this trinket tray mold this is the mold you would have seen me use a billion times on my channel but yeah, it was too much for it. So I do end up using the leftovers in another mold. So after mixing and I poured it into my mold, I'm using a paintbrush to actually paint the entire surface of my silicone mold. Again, what mold you use is entirely up to you. And like I said, I've made too much. So I do end up putting it into a really cool mold as well, which gives us two completely different things to look at in the video. And there you go. I'm just trying to get it into all of the nooks and crannies. Realizing I've got way too much, I end up using a much smaller paintbrush, enabling me to get down into that lip. Ideally, you want a really thin coat of the metal cast on your mold. I put it on way too thick at the beginning, but that's okay because I do end up taking some off. Now I'm very aware that by the time I came to filling this, I had gaps, I'd missed bits, but it's worth taking your time if you want that all over complete coverage. For me, it was only the sides, so I wasn't really too worried about it. This is the other mold that I'm putting the metal cast into. Again, I don't know why I'm using a big fat brush, but it kind of got the job done. And I was getting so messy at this point. This was around about five, six minutes after mixing. I felt like it started to thicken up. So it's very much the same as the Hydra Flow from Elechem. You is, you know, the same as that kind of acrylic compound. You don't have a very, very long work time. To backfill, then you can use your Hydra Flow from Elechem or you can use an epoxy resin to fill the back of your mold up. I'm actually using the Hydra Flow from Elechem and I'm colouring it in grey because the actual colour of the metal cast is going to be grey. So if there are any gaps or if it's come away from the silicon, if the silicon has repelled it and you see gaps, they won't be so noticeable. So this was just a little bit of black pigment added to create this grey and then I'm pouring it in and I can already see gaps on the right hand side but I'm not worried because the back is grey. Now as usual with an acrylic compound I would usually go crazy and shake 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 but I actually didn't do that with this because this is a brand new material to me and I didn't want to dislodge it away from the mold and create canyons so here we are this is around about 40 minutes later this is a demold and it's looking kind of nice it's already looking nice without me doing any other work to it but the instructions say you need to leave it for around 12 to 18 hours to fully cure so what i'm going to do is come back the next day and that is what you see here the next thing you will need to bring this up to a metallic finish is actually some wire wool. Oh, I hate the feel of this wire wool so much. I actually ordered this on Amazon. I will link it below, but I'm sure you can get this in any pound shop. Then you have to rub the surface of your piece, depending on what you've made. But look at this. Within seconds, it's going from this matte gray look to this super shiny, almost like industrial metal look 
I know it's metal cast and that's kind of what it's meant to do, <laughs> but I've not used it before. So I was like, oh, oh, this is really shiny. This is really working. So I did put a glove on because I hate the feel. I hate the feel of that wire wool, but it's necessary to take the surface off and bring it up to this super high shine. And that is what you see me doing here. I went around all of the edges, all of the sides, around that rim as well. The one thing I did do was start going in circles, but I didn't want to change the flow. I didn't want to change the direction of which I was using the wire wool. I was worried about leaving marks and things like that. So I did end up using it kind of just in one direction. I was a bit worried about going in circles just in case because again it's a brand new product for me but here you see me going in circles and I thought no 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 don't do it Claire just go in straight lines as much as you can and get the job done but at this point I was really really not surprised because it's kind of what it's meant to do but I was really excited I was excited at the possibilities because I love industrial I love anything industrial really is my cup of tea so industrial um decor for the home i can imagine this you know working really really well for so many things but yeah here you see what i ended up doing was spraying my table with some liquid you probably can't really see it here but because of all the dust that was coming off i was also wearing my mask any dust that then fell off the tray was falling onto a wet surface so i knew it was contained it wasn't just going to blow away but I'm going to carry on now with my wire wool, get this really done thoroughly, and then we're going to come back and check it out. This is the ammonite. Once I demolded, this is what the ammonite looked like. I love this mold as well. Absolutely one of my favourites. And just a couple of little rubs with that wire wool has now given me this gorgeous reflective metallic surface so yeah I'm really happy that it did what it said it did on the tin you know <laughs> really lovely product to work with so I'm always excited when I try new things and think of the possibilities that then can go along with those new things so yeah really really happy if you like the look of this of course I will put it all in the description box below but this is what it looks like and then look when you turn it to the light it truly does look like metal now around the edges you can see there the gaps where I didn't spend enough time filling them but again it doesn't take away from the piece if anything I feel like it adds to the brushed metal brushed metallic industrial feel where I've left gaps definitely didn't take away from it but the ammonite I feel like I could spend longer actually polishing up the ammonite it was all the little nooks and crannies the outside edge was easy but because of the mold I chose getting into those little bits in the center it's going to take me a little bit more time still love the shine from it though let me know your thoughts at this point I will put all of the details for metal cast down below I also feel like this would be beautiful in jewelry so jewelry molds necklace molds earrings and things like that where you can get it really polished up to that high metal shine but let me know what you would use it for and do not forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below hope you've loved it thank you so much to Ella Kem for sending this over it really was a joy to use so much fun cannot wait to use it again I'll see you all in the next video bye